An unexpected turn of events revealed Lanfear, a potent new antagonist for the Wheel of Time, to be Rand Althor's love interest. Selene is considerably more than she might have appeared to be when she was initially presented, it turns out. In the Wheel of Time Season 2, Episode 4, Daughter of the Night, various plot lines unexpectedly collided. After finding the poem Warren received from Bale Doman, this reveal happening alongside Celine channeling made it abundantly clear that the show's new threat had already found the dragon reborn. Clearly, she'll be a major enemy for the characters to deal with in the battles ahead. Lanfear is one of the 13 forsaken in the Wheel of Time, as acknowledged by Alana, her warders, and Warren. Lanfear is one of the Thirteen Forsaken. The Forsaken are a group of ancient channelers loyal to the Dark One. Lanfear was easily among the strongest of them all. According to the Great Hunt, the only Forsaken with a greater level of command over the One Power in Wheel of Time is Ishmael himself. Whereas Moraine has called the TV version of Lanfear the most dangerous of the Forsaken, renowned for her beauty, Lanfear originally went by the name Mirren Aranale. During a time when men could become Aes Sedai, she and a male Aes Sedai named Biedemann. Lanfear's original plan for Rand explained. Lanfear's pre-existing feelings for the dragon account for many of her decisions in the Wheel of Time books, including the events of Season 2. The fear she expressed when Rand channeled in The Daughter of the Night represents the exact opposite of her real attitude toward his abilities. In the books, his status as the most powerful channeler in existence had a lot to do with her attraction to him. She purposely sought Rand out and posed as Selene to win his heart, but to no avail. Unlike so many of the other Forsaken, Lanfear didn't want to bring down the Dragon Reborn she wanted them to be on the same side. In the third book, The Dragon Reborn, Lanfear tried to convince Rand to team up with her so that the two of them could rule the world together in service of the Dark One. Of course, he turned her down. But though their goals didn't align, Lanfear remained committed to getting him back. For that reason, her jealousy of the other women in his life culminated in some tense, violent encounters in the books. Her possessiveness of Rand and inability to tolerate him being involved with someone else motivated Lanfear to try to kill him in the fifth book of the series, The Fires of Heaven. Wheel of Time Season 2 hints at a major change to Lanfear's story. A crucial element in Daughter of the Night suggests Lanfear's objectives diverge significantly from those of her fictional counterpart. The poem's first line began, A new lover she seeks, who shall serve her and die. This gives the idea that Lanfear was going to murder Rand in the subsequent scene, where she was seated over him and had his hands restrained. In the books, Lanfear did attempt to murder Rand but only in retaliation to what she saw as a betrayal. It was never her intention to kill him. It appears as though the Wheel of Time is taking her story in a completely new path, unless the poet is misinterpreting her intentions. It's at least conceivable that Lanfear wasn't actually about to kill Rand, and that the plot of the program is intentionally misrepresenting her actions. But if she was, such a revelation would drastically alter her personality. This is why Lanfear making an attempt on Rand's life at such an early point in the saga would be a massive departure from the source material, and one that would raise new questions about her true goals. Lanfear's story in the Wheel of Time books revolves around her futile attempts to rekindle with Rand, what she had with Luz Theron thousands of years ago.